in the neighboring districts of Vibanda, Mbarra and Kabale. Seven student nurses who are also suspected to have contracted the virus from a victim are being quarantined in Ibanda. Temporary isolation facilities have also been set up in these districts. Minister for Health Christine Ondoa also pointed out that a laboratory has been set up at Kabale Referral Hospital, which will release results in three hours. Previous tests took 24 hours. The setting up of isolation wards is very, very important and crucial for such cases to be isolated from other general cases. And this the partners and Ministry of Health are doing. We are also continuing to do anthropometric and other studies on the bats, on the primates, on the monkeys from different parts of the country to see where we can isolate these viruses and in which community, which forests. The ministry is also closely monitoring 436 other people believed to have come into contact with some Marburg patients. These are in Kampala and Fort Porto. The ministry has also allocated 651 million shillings for the response team in Kabale and 284 million for the response team in Ibanda. It is still within the ministry trying to rearrange, taking from some other program to send there. I, I think the Treasury, definitely we as developing partners, we insist that the, the Treasury has to allocate the supplementary budget that was requested. The ministry has issued precautionary measures for the public to avert the spread of the disease. Any suspected patient should be reported to a nearby health unit. Avoid direct contact with body fluids of a person with Marburg by using protective materials like gloves and masks. Persons who have died of Marburg must be handled with strong protective wear and buried immediately. Avoid eating dead animals. Avoid unnecessary public gathering, especially in the affected district. And to report all suspicious deaths to a nearby health facility. The World Health Organization is to collaborate with the Ministry of Health on surveillance, case management, collection of specimens, setting up isolation wards, as well as lobbying for more international support in this time of need. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.